everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty good. I need to do some pain management, which means I need to just not think. So what I did is I got out my little journal here, my dilution journal. I have my small jelly plate here. I got my brayer. I'm going to start out with some super heavy gesso. And we're just going to play. Let's see what we can do. Um, this super heavy gesso, I love it because... You can put so much texture on this gesso, or using this gesso, it's wonderful. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to keep you with me as I play along in this process. So, because I know there's many of you out there that don't like just speed through videos all the time. Um, the, the advantage to me on doing a speed through video is I can either, you know, watch a show on Netflix while I'm creating or you know, have my headset on and listen to some music, that kind of thing. But um, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to worry about creating. So I'm just going to put on a real nice layer of this gesso. It doesn't have to be everywhere. I'm not worried about that. Because what I'm going to do next is take one of my palette knives as soon as I find them. And let's just make some marks in here. See what it does. Oh, I like it. Looks like chicken's feet. I like it. And I'm just making marks for some texture and just to see what we can come up with. All right, I'm going to dry this up real quick and we'll be right back. All right, this is not all the way dry, but that's okay. Um, I've got out some Dilution Spray, and I've got some Heidi Swap Color Shine. I'm going to start with the Dilutions. Ooh. And I just want to put a little. Come on. Come on, I filled you up. And I just want to run it around. So, let's see, I'll put a little bit more right here. There we go. All right, I'm just going to take a baby wipe here. Just pull some of that out of that. Okay. And this gesso is not all the way dry, so I am picking up a little bit of that gesso which that's all right, I don't mind. All right, and that is coming out all over the place. You know, I'm in a love-hate relationship with sprays. Sometimes I love them, most of the time I hate them. That's why you don't see me use them that often. But right now I'm gonna dry this up and we'll be right back. All right, so it's been a few days, but that's okay. Um, this is completely dry now. Like I said, it's been a bit. So I found this tissue while I was putting some other stuff away. So I decided I'm going to throw a little bit of tissue on this. And again, at this point, um, I still haven't a clue where this page is going. Um, I'm just going on pure instinct. And I'm just going to do my thing. Yeah, you don't want me singing. Sorry. Let's see. So I'm just putting down this tissue paper. Um, is it where I had it laying out? Probably not. That's okay. It's all good. And let's see. Let's put you right here. So I'm really, really excited. Probably by the time you guys see this video, it'll be all done and over, but... Um, I get to go spend two whole days, two full whole days with Diane Reevely. Um, she is coming to a place, not well, it's about an hour and a half from me, um, called Geneva. And the business is called Inky Hot Mass. And she's coming up to do a class. So I'm really, really excited. Actually, three classes. 
tags, backgrounds, and journal pages. So I'm going to do all three classes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right, so it's pretty well dry. I got out some different paints here. I have a golden fluorescent blue that I want to play with. And I also have the Liquitex Soft Body, which is a purple, I want to play with. So this I'm going to stick on my palette. And this I'll stick on my palette because I'll use it out of there. And I've just got a short-handled brush here. It's a half-inch angle shader. I probably cut that off. That wouldn't surprise me any. I tend to do that with some of the brushes. I like stiffer brushes. So sometimes I'll just take them and cut them off until they're the right length. So I just have fun with it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just randomly throwing down some paint and just kind of um, blending it out the best I can with the brush. So it's, it's pretty well dry already. Just by doing, um, by taking your brush and really blending it out, you're gonna have paint dry really quick, especially acrylics. Okay. And like I said, I'm just randomly, I don't have any plan in mind, no, nothing. I got too much paint on my brush then. So we're just throwing some paint down. Okay, now I'm going to work on the blue. Um, I just got a little bit on my brush, throw it on my palette. Same thing, I'm just going to go in and play with the paint. Now because I have a lot on my brush, I need another, another. one at Dina Wakeley's. Yeah, see, it dried too quick for me to be able to blend it out. So I'm going to have to put more down here. And then I'll take this and just blend it. So it's not quite such harsh lines. I need to get some of this paint off here, so I'm just going to play around. Just getting some of the paint off the brush. I've actually put too much on, so it's okay. It's all good. All right. Get a little bit more here. Okay, it looks a lot brighter in person than it is on camera. Just adding a little bit more blue here and there. Alright, now I do want to get that pink out. So I'm going to grab... Oh, we got one fluorescent. Actually, no. Let's do a Dina Wakely. Doo -doo, where are you, pink? There she is. Let's throw a Dina Wakely pink in here. Yeah, I like it. I like it, like it, like it. So as I was saying, I'm really, really, really excited about going up to see, um, when I say going up because I actually have to go north a little bit, up to see Dina, um, yeah, not Dina, uh, Diane Reevely. It's going to be fun. 
and uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, gonna be painful, <laughs> that I know. So I've been spending the last few days just kind of chilling out, not doing a whole lot of anything because I have to give my back some rest because I know as soon as I, you know, get up there, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough time because I'll, you know, be up quite a bit of time. So we'll work on it. You know, it's all part of the chronic pain experience. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Okay, now I like that. But now I want to kind of bring it all together. Right now, to me, it looks like just spots of color. So, come on. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of white gesso. I'm going to put some white gesso right here on my desk. Don't need a whole lot. I'm going to take my small brayer sitting right here in front of me. Okay, and, and this will also bring up, um, there's my small brayer. This will also bring up some of that texture again. So we're just going to kind of, see it's just lightly putting a highlight on that texture. And to me, you know, I, I'm learning to use more and more to use my brayer because I'm finding that it kind of brings the pages together a little bit, kind of makes them cohesive. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that texture? See how the white is pulling out that texture? See it? So it gives it this really cool, cool look. Okay, now I'm going to do, 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 figure out what I'm going to do next. So let me um, dry this up real quick and we'll be right back. Alright, so I've decided to use some dioxine purple. And um, this is pretty opaque as you can see from the front. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this on here on my palette. There's my palette. <coughs> this one I don't use very often. I don't know why. Uh, so we're going to throw just a little bit of it here. I don't want a whole lot because I'm not going to use it a whole lot. Just going to take a small makeup sponge that I've cut down. I like it. Okay, and I've got a stencil here that we're just going to play with. So let's see what we've got going on. Alright, so, and again, this is just random. I'm not thinking of a certain pattern place. I'm just randomly, you know, throwing it down. Throw down your paint. <laughs> and let's just do a little bit more here, maybe a little bit in this corner. And I, what I do is I just kind of look at it. Alright, we got some there, we got some there. Now this corner looks a little bit bare. Let's throw just a touch. Maybe here in the middle. There we go. Love it. All right, so that's this one. Now I'm also going to take a, um, let's take, let's take this magenta, this gold, um, quinacridone magenta, and I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I'm going to use a different stencil. And actually, I'm going to use the same um, sponge. The stencil I want to use now is just this tiny little dots. Um, I had someone ask me the other day where I got my stencils from, and most of them I've gotten from Blitzy because I have found that Blitzy has a great price on their stencils. So, I, you know, I'll go in and order quite a few at a time, just different ones that I like. Um, a lot of them are Crafter's Workhouse. Yeah, work, why do I always say that? The Crafter's Workshop. <laughs> I'm always calling them the Workhouse. They need to change their name. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I, I usually go on Blitzy and use them. Or I'm sorry, get the stencils there. So that's where I get 90% of my stencils from. And I'm learning that the stencils that I really love are the 6x6. Six six. Oh, that's a nice one. Um, actually, you know what? I like this. Let's use this. Well, this I want to use with uh, white gesso. So, or let's try this. I've got this white titanium white paint from A2. So let's, uh, I normally use gesso. I don't know why, but I did buy this paint, so let's use it. And we'll get another sponge, get a little bit bigger one. And let's throw some round circles on here. Okay, love it. All right, so we're just throwing down some white dots. And again, same thing. It's not, I'm not planning anything. I'm just playing. I like it. And as you've noticed, I don't clean my stencils. I don't know. I just don't. Um, if they ever get really bad or if I use a modeling paste on them, sometimes I will clean them. But most of the time, no. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick because the next stencil that I'm going to use is, I'm going to use black and I want this completely dry. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this pretty well dry. Now this next um, stencil, again, I got it from um, the Crafters Workshop, which I got it on Blitzy. And this one is a TCW617S. I want to say it's a Dina Wakely, but I don't think that's right. So don't quote me. I don't know who it is. But it's of this sketchy girl, which I want to put down here. And I'm using um, Mars Black paint by this uh, A2. And I'm just working on getting her put down here. And now before I lift this stencil, I actually want to see how it is. Can you see it? She looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to make sure I've got that black nice and strong in there. I like her. Can you see her? Yay! All right, now... Um, her I'm going to let dry. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just... Let's put her right here. We'll put her right there. There you go. I'm cleaning off my stencil. <laughs> there she is. All right. So, and then the other thing that I wanted to use was... Um, I just wanted her off that stencil. Oh, uh, was this here? This is another one, which is the Crafters Workshop, and this one is TCW5265. And what I wanted to do is I just want to put, maybe right here. another one right here now I wasn't worried about um, see I got a little bit of the over on that that's okay it's all good it all blends in and actually I'm going to do a third one right here I just need a little bit more black paint. And I'm just going to throw another one right here. I kind of like this. It's just, it's kind of like a stained glass archway is the only thing I can think to call it. 
And I love it. It's pretty. So, I like it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this stencil. Thought twice before uh, <laughs> rubbing on that. There we go. It's in there. Cool. Working on another page. There you go. Good enough. And then I just, I bought these um, plastic dividers, I, again, at Blitzy. I got these at Blitzy. I bought like 10 packs of them. And um, I just cut a piece of white cardstock, and then I have stencils on each side. I have found, for a while I had them in a box. They were driving me crazy that, and I was messing up my stencils. Um, I've had them in binders. Um, I've had them in just plain big size sheet protectors. I've had them in all that kind of stuff. And I, so far this, <sighs> this is the now. <laughs> this is where I have them now. So, and I seem to like them that way. I can just kind of flip through them that way and see what I have. So, all right, let's dry her up real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so here's what I did. I took, um, the Dilution White and the Dilution Pink Bubblegum or bubblegum pink and I've got you can't see it let me go out right here on my mat I have taken and mixed two of them the two together because I wanted a little bit different shade of pink and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through and take down some of this background so basically I'm gonna calm it down didn't want to do that Just going to calm down some of the background because I want the black on this to show through. Now that doesn't mean I want to cover everything up, but it's going to help me calm it down a little bit. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I kind of want to keep these white circles open. So just again. Put on, take off, put on, take off, put on, take off. Just to try to kind of, um, I say push it back, but yeah, I'm pushing it back, but I'm also allowing the black and the to come forward, the purple to come forward. But I don't want all of my white, which I may go through and redo some white dots, which is fine. that just to try to make it poof and now I want some blue so I'm actually I'm looking at my cart over here no I don't want that I want some just light blue See, I'm just trying to try and try and try and just plain. Seeing what looks good, what doesn't. This blue looks okay on it. I kind of like it. Now, I have not thought about, um, you know, if I'm going to put any words on this page or any of that stuff. I don't, I just go with what my gut tells me. Um, I shouldn't say my gut, but yeah, my gut, my intuition. I'm going with whatever my muse wants to do. That's what she's doing right now. I'm not making a plan. I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to have this outlook. I have no idea what it's going to end up looking like. Probably pretty cool. I kind of like it the way it is right now. I'm going to dry it up and then we're going to come back in with some more white. Um, I might do something to her face. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've decided I want to go back in with the white, so I'm just going to use the Dilution White that's open sitting here. And I just want to put some of these white back in. 
Um, could I use the stencil again? Probably. I don't feel like doing that. So we're just using what we got right here. They don't have to be perfect. So just kind of Just enjoying the process, not really thinking. I'm just having fun with it. Oops, got lots of paint on that one. Just having fun with it. Um, is it perfect? No. But you know what? It's an art journal page. And actually, I think I am going to do some journaling on this page as well. So... Um, we're just enjoying. I like it. I like it. See how those white just pop right out? That's okay. We're going to do something with our girl here in a second. Just not sure. Um, I think I'm going to use white, but I'm going to use smaller brush. And I really don't want a whole lot of white. I just kind of want to... see what we can do here. I'm just kind of making her a little bit lighter. See how she's she's just coming out a little bit. And I'll use a black pen and you know re go back over some of the lines. Just kind of bringing her up out of the paint a little bit. Okay, I need my, so I'm just basically going over the lines that were here, just to bring them back out. Here we go, we just brought it back out, I'm not going to sketchy sketchy we're just gonna sketchy sketchy okay sketchy sketchy in her hair sketchy and I have to keep saying that because if I don't <laughs> I'll end up doing something really crazy with her so I'm just sketchy sketchy <laughs> like her isn't she cool all right I'm going to dry this up and then we're going to put a few more details on here and then I don't know, i got to decide if I want to put some words on here or anything. So I'll be right back. Alright, so what I did is I brought my white bubbles back out which we're going to work on. Um, I actually had to do a couple coats and the, the paint is still coming through and I actually used gesso but that's okay, I'm good with that. Uh, what I want to do now is I just want to do a little bit of journaling. Um, this is just a Sharpie pen, I think it's blue, I don't care. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of journaling. I'm going to do it around the outsides and then we'll come back and finish up this page. I'll be right back. Alright, so I did a little bit of journaling and I might do a little bit more, but for now I'm not going to. Um, this is just a portfolio pastel, oil pastel that's a water pastel. And I just want to outline some of these. Just give it a little bit of darkness, I guess. Just to outline them a little bit, give them a little bit of shadow. This one's going to have shadow the whole way around. Because it can, right? So, um, now is the point, you know, I, I basically have my subject on the page, my girl hair. And um, now I'm just going to doodle and just play with the elements that are on the page. Maybe add some dots. Um, just play 
And that's about it. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I want to do some more dots. Let me throw, you know what? A little bit of yellow on her face. Let's brighten her up a little bit. I gotta watch what finger I'm using here because I don't want to blacken her face. There, we're just gonna kind of brighten her up a little bit. A little bit on her neck, a little on her chest. Maybe on her eye. See, just kind of made her yellow. That's okay. Now we'll use pink. So we're just playing at this point, playing with different supplies. Um, like I said, right now I'm playing with the oil pastels. Just depends on the mood I'm in, whether it's going to be oil pastels or uh, Uniball Signal pens or never know. Speaking of which, let's throw some dots. We gotta have dots, right? So we're just putting some dots on here, playing around. I like it. Okay. Now the word that keeps coming to me when I'm playing with this is believe. Um, I don't know why, but that's the word that keeps coming to me. So let me get some letters out and let's get it on here somewhere. Be right back. All right, so what I did is I took my dyno label maker here and I've got it on clear tape. Can you see it? It just says believe. And it's going to go right here because that's where I want it. So, um... Now I'm just going to take, this is a, I don't even know what this is, it's a Japanese pen, made in Japan. No clue what it is, but I know it's a black pen. So I'm just going to find the edge of it. Okay, I'm going to put the date. And there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it's been a lot of fun. It's great to play. Um, love playing in my journals. This is a small dilutions. All right. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Uh, as always, be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.